Okay, everyone, this is day three of my little stevia project, uh, hydroponics growing. And you can see day three, this uh, reboot, I actually have sprouted my stevia. So it's looking good enough on the sprouts. I'm going to take it out of the package and put it inside the medium to have the hydroponics um, get it. So these little, uh, little squares, you take the top off and pull the like uh, insert out and you can see the medium in the bottom. And put them on zippered bags. And I'll put a I'll put a link in my uh, video to um, the Amazon where you can buy this uh, unit. It was only 40 bucks. Um, I've, I've added a few things like uh, aeration stones. Um, so what I'll do right now is I'll take the medium out and uh, make sure my basin's filled with water in the unit and then put the uh, take a, take the stuff out of the bag um, I had put two put a whole towel paper towel napkin right I showed this in the last video one of these cheap like I got a big bag they're cheap and they work okay uh, Try not to have any paper that has any chemicals, because uh, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll put fragrance in things, and that's not good chemicals for these. Um, you just want regular towel. And this time I didn't use the hydrogen peroxide. You just use plain um, purified water. Um, just a regular... 16 ounce uh, bottle here I'll show it 16 ounce bottle I got from this got from the store went down the I actually got it from 7-eleven so it, it works fine um, so I'm gonna pause it here and then go ahead and get the medium all fixed up and prepared get the water in the basin and do that for you right now Okay, I hope everybody can hear me well enough. Um, I, as you can see, I've, I've already put it in the medium. I used three, three pint-sized glasses of the uh, purified water. I get down five-gallon jugs. I go down to a purification place and buy that from them. It's cheap that way. Um, so, and, and the and the little wine. You've got a little window. You can see the water is like halfway up the, in the viewer. That's three three pint glasses. That's uh, that's six cups. So what I did is I unfolded carefully, unfolded the paper towel, and then put it in. And I did that because I was afraid that the the sprouts would have a hard time pushing through the tissue. Uh, the green leafy part would have a problem coming up. But the roots shouldn't have any problems. Some of them have already started poking through the tissue. So what I'll do is the, the plastic part now, this, just to keep it, keep the temperature so that it doesn't it doesn't have a problem rooting into the medium and I'll leave that for two to three days and I'll, I'll remove the top and uh, I'll take the insert back out again and allow it to start growing. Now I'm not going to leave a lamp on, I'm going to put a, a timer on the lamp, I don't know why it never shuts off. It's supposed to have a timer but it never shuts off. So I've got a timer and 
We'll set that up. Uh, recommend it to, it's like 16 hours. Uh, I, you know, sunlight's like 16 hours, so we're going to do that. I, I got to read a little bit more about sunlight. It's grown in Peru. Um, you know, Peru's uh, southern part of South America. So I've got to read up more on the stevia and the growing season, the climate that it grows in. But I'm probably going to set the thing maybe 14 hours to 16 hours, depending on what the... And the only reference I have is Wikipedia at the moment to look that up. So that's that's it for the sweet leaf, stevia. That's it for now, and I'll give you more in a few days.